In one of South Sudan's community engagement forums, men and women here are exchanging ideas on how they can bring peace and harmony in their country. Such forums have become key to bringing communities together in a country that has seen violence for the past 20 months. The government of South Sudan wants to use such fora to reach out to the communities and seek opinion on the comprehensive peace deal it refused to sign in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. This Juba resident says it is a good thing the government has sought to get opinion of the citizens, but she doesn't think her opinion will make a difference. It is good for them to come and take ideas on peace, but we don't know if that will make them sign the peace agreement. We need them to talk to our leaders to agree on something that will stop the violence. This problem was started by the leaders. They should solve it. Returnees from abroad are also joining on the call for peace across the country. Daniel Guy is one of those who has returned from the U.S. to help rebuild his country. Well, the violence have come, and I think our people have realized that, you know, what happened had happened, and it has been too long for us, you know, to, uh, to kill each other and being envy about each other. So I think it is time now for us at least to think twice, think back, and come up with the solutions, rally for peace instead of going after war and violence for so long. Many here hope that the warring parties will reach an agreement and end the 20 months of bloodshed in South Sudan. A deal will eventually be reached. I do appreciate the government agreeing to negotiate and for reaching out to the citizens. Through such efforts, peace will definitely be achieved. This is a good thing by the government. The government said it needed more time two weeks to be precise, in order to consult and agree whether they will sign or not Egard's proposed peace deal after they missed an August 17th deadline to do so. Kofam Renje, CCTV.